something that I've, I've been kind of thinking about uh, lately, and it was really after I was listening to this uh, interview on uh, Vlad TV. Uh, he was talking to a uh, a guy named DOC. And so if y'all have seen uh, the movie uh, Straight Outta Compton, um, you will you'll see DOC portrayed in that movie. But um, he's a legend like this. This is the guy behind pretty much all of Dr. Dre's stuff. Um, a lot of Snoop Dogg stuff, um, NWA stuff. That's how he first got started. Um, Easy E actually brought him into the fold and he started started writing and stuff like that. And he's actually he actually uh, was a, 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 a independent artist as well. And so he, I mean, he's he's been involved with so much like legendary status work in hip hop. But the thing is, is he never handled his business. And so he's he's a part of all this legendary stuff. And uh, I know he never was technically in N.W.A., but he was he was behind all of that. This is the guy behind writing the songs. And so that's something you got to remember, too. When you hear an artist, let's say like Rihanna or, or anybody, you know, they're the face of of the music. A lot of times these artists aren't even writing their own music. They're not producing the music. They're not even writing the, the lyrics to the songs in many cases. They bring in all these people to 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 ensure that's what you call a a uh, record producer. They're ensuring that this project comes together and the sound is delivered. And so the artist is the person really selling the song, the image. Um, and don't get it twisted. There's definitely plenty of artists that do all of it themselves. But um, DOC was behind of behind so much of pretty much everything, every project Dr. Dre's come out with, this guy was pretty much behind it, writing songs. And, uh, but his business was never right. So like, I'm not sure what their, their business agreement was or anything, but basically he, for even a short period of time, he wasn't even getting, getting like credit for, uh, for writing these songs. And so Dr. Dre's getting paid, everybody's getting paid and he's pretty much getting nothing. Like he's, it's almost like he's not even a part of it. And I was just thinking that is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, this is, this is someone that he, you know, him and Dre are tight, but his business was, was never right. And it's like, I don't know. I kind of feel, I don't know. I kind of feel several ways about it. Honestly, like one, you know, you and Dre's, you know, real tight, y'all working together. Y'all come, you know what I'm saying? Y'all come up together. And Dre's, you know what I'm saying, business is right, but your business isn't right. Even though it's not Dre's quote unquote responsibility to help him out legally, like get his stuff in order, still you would think, like, wow, like why why didn't somebody help this dude get his stuff together? Like, and I don't know, I mean, somebody could have or whatever. I don't, you know, I don't know all that. It's not really my my business, but but it's just it goes to show you, man, how no one is gonna look out for you like you're going to look out for yourself. And it's, it's just that plain and simple. And I think, you know, a lot of people, they just have the mindset that, okay, if I would just, you know, create something excellent, you know, I'll just focus completely on my craft and be really good at my craft. Then one day somebody's going to discover me and they're going to put me on and they're going to take care of everything. And that's, that's a, that's a very dangerous way to think. Um, that's just not that's just not reality. You know what I'm saying? Like the artistry, definitely, you know what I'm saying? Very important. But if you if you're going to try to conduct business with your music, you also need to understand the business as well. It's so important. And still to this day, like, you know, you you hear about so many artists getting burned by bad, bad record deals, stuff like that. But truth be told, if they if they read the record deal, if they understood it. And if they knew they were getting screwed by actually reading it, then they most likely wouldn't have signed the record deal in the first place. But so many people take the approach of, you know, I I'm desperate and these people are interested in me and I'm just going to, you know, blindly sign up with them and then we'll figure out everything else later. And that's, a, that's just a very dangerous way to be. I mean, and y'all have heard me talk about TLC before about their situation and granted, you know, you know, from what I've heard, there's a lot of other people involved with that as far as writing their music and stuff like that or whatnot. But still, this is the second largest female group ever 
And at the peak of their career, they were only bringing home, I think, around $15,000 a piece. That's crazy. That's crazy, crazy. Um, you got to know your business. 